Despite the coronavirus pandemic and travel restrictions, this week is proving to be one of the busiest for air travel. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalfo. Thanksgiving travelers heading in and out of Green and Logan airports. The CDC, along with the governors of Rhode Island and Massachusetts, are asking people to stay put. However, anyone who does travel is urged to quarantine until they get their COVID test results back. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt talked with folks who felt safe enough to fly today. He joins us live from TF Green with more. Rob? Shannon, those flying into TF Green were greeted by National Guard agents before going to baggage claim. Everyone handed this flyer, letting them know what the CDC is recommending this Thanksgiving. As the holidays approach, so does holiday travel. A global pandemic has changed things, however. People should be scared because it's something that we shouldn't take lightly. Celie Davis flew into TF Green from Chicago Monday to spend Thanksgiving with her family on Block Island. She got tested for the coronavirus before her flight and has another test scheduled Tuesday morning at the island's walk-in care. Thankful for the options in multiple locations. Finally, it's not on the individual, but the states and the cities are actually showing up for their people and making it so that we can actually be safe. Governor Raimondo urged Rhode Islanders to stay put during last week's briefing, but asked those who must leave to get tested before and after travels. Reinforcements ready to spread the word at TF Green. I have a team of the National Guard at the airport reminding you that when you come back, you have to get tested and you have to quarantine. The crowds at TF Green were visibly smaller Monday afternoon, but there were those like Matthew Pontikis, who flew in from Baltimore. His parents updated him on the new restrictions in Rhode Island, but it's where he wanted to be after his rapid COVID test came back negative. Um, but I still wanted to come home just because, you know, I've been stuck in Baltimore for months, don't get to see my family often, yeah, and yeah. only like FaceTime or call them. So He says he's thankful for his family's good health and the opportunity to see them this year with plans to stay safe by keeping his vacation pod small with his mom, dad, and brother. We usually have like a Thanksgiving of like 10 to 12, 15 people, and this year it's going to be us four. Rapid COVID testing will be available to travelers here at TF Green after Thanksgiving from Friday to Monday. Live in Warwick, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.